I started by transferring my picture to the board and then sealing with a clear acrylic resin. This will prevent the drawing from being dissolved into the oils. I then blocked in the painting, getting rid of the white and starting to define the dark and light areas. I then started on the second layer, getting closer to the final tonal depth and working up the detail. I switched between using a soft filbert for creating smooth solid areas of colour to an old frayed brush which is used to create the impression of fur. Buttery wet on wet strokes in the ear create the impression of that fluffy ear fur. Overlapping dark and light strokes with the old spiky brush create the impression of the fine leopard fur. On the nose where the fur is particularly short, I stipple with the old brush to create a similar effect. Dragging titanium white paint through darker layers creates the soft spikes of the leopard's chin. A second background layer starts to define the rock and makes the leopard pop out. I start to add multiple layers of transparent glazes in reds and browns. As soon as I glaze the eyes, they come to life. I decide to change the foreground, painting wet and wet from a loose reference. Finally, I add the whiskers, details and highlights. So here's the snow leopard, and thank you for watching.